So today I'm looking at a DE7 Delay Echo guitar effects pedal uh, by Ibanez. And it uh, looks like it's had kind of a hard life. It's kind of dirty. It's not working. Uh, the LED comes on, but there's not really much happening with it beyond the light coming on. So today I'm going to try to fix it, see if I can figure out what's wrong and get it back to life. <laughs> So here I have the schematic, and the first thing I'm going to kind of check is to see that everything has the correct power. And so the power is coming in uh, right here, and um, it comes through here, actually starts at the battery here, comes up through here, uh, and goes into a 5 volt voltage regulator and then um, the ground comes through this diode here so I think I'm just going to start out by checking this out making sure we're getting our 9 volts in and our 5 volts out and then if I do have the 5 volts out I'll just tr keep tracing it and make sure that we have good power to all these different components looks like two of the screws are missing <clears throat> All right, first I want to check the diode. Okay, that's in good condition. And then I think the voltage regulator is right here. So, <clears throat> so 
hook my battery up. And I should see Hmm. Okay, so I've got it powered on here. And I'm gonna check my voltmeter. So that's our ground, our input. And our output, and our output's putting out. So we can see something's wrong right there. Our output is 3.2 volts. With an input of 8.7. Yeah, I think that voltage regulator is bad. All right. I'll have to order a new voltage regulator. So I'm going to take these controls out and clean them while I'm waiting for the parts to come in. Wow, look how filthy those are. They look like high quality potentiometers. But they were kind of noisy too. I don't know how to clean them. Again, filthy, look at that. Oof. So I guess it's time to clean all this up and clean up all these parts. Maybe spray a little deoxid in these and clean them up. So I got all the um, boards cleaned up. They were absolutely filthy. Uh, put a little deoxid in here. Um, can't really get into these potentiometers, so I just left them. Hopefully, they're not going to. Hopefully, they'll be good. 
and clean these up. These could use a little more deoxid on them. But the contacts all, the solder joints all look good on them. And uh, so I'm just going to reassemble them. Okay, so here's our voltage regulator we're going to remove. And here's our new ones. Okay, here's the part I'm replacing it with, a uh, TL750L, I think C50, for 5 volt. Okay, so we have our new regulator in, and I have my power supply set to 9 volts. Set that there, and set this. Right. And then we'll check our voltage, or I'll put voltage. Five volts. All right, we're making progress. So there it's all together. The voltage regulator that I purchased <laughs> had a different pinout than the, the one that was in there. So I had to um, kind of move the pins around, which is a pain. So you might want to think about that when making your voltage regulator purchase. Hmm, okay, let's try it out. Nothing. So it's still not working, but we got a good five volts coming out of it. So I'm going to start looking at my schematic and seeing if I can trace it a little bit. Okay, so I've got uh, some problems, and I've so I've traced the output from. 
where it comes in on pin 3 here comes over to R17 and um, at R17 over here let me put my battery in There's my tone, completely normal tone. So at R17, so so here's my schematic, and um, I've traced my signal coming in all the way to here, and. Uh, and that's this connector here and R17's right back here. R17's is this resistor right here. And I'm getting a normal tone coming out of here. Uh, an unmodified tone. But then if I look down here at the delay and echo switch, I, should, I get modified signals on both these sides and I have modified signal and so right now I'm just kind of trying to trace up through here and um, to see if I can figure out what's going on from here. Uh, yeah. Actually it'd be... Mm, no. I don't know. So I'm just, I'm going to keep tracing it and see if I can figure stuff out. So I've traced it from here to here, and the signal looks good here. So let me look at R25. Okay, so I think R25 is this resistor right here. If I look at the signal coming out. Yeah, so here we have signal out of all here. We are a signal coming out of here. So, let me just check the resistor. I don't know. I don't know why a resistor would be burned out or broken. Interesting. So the resistor is good. So let me so so that's our pad right there. Oh, I get it. Okay, so come like that. So R19 is the one we're supposed to be looking at. So the broken trace is right in here, and uh, so I soldered in a jumper here, and it seems to work now. All right, here I have an actual guitar player, David Raphael, who's going to help demo uh, the pedal, and it's by no means a full examination of what the pedal can do, but I just wanted to let you hear the sound of, sound of it.